Inside Press Box is presented by Live Casino and Hotel. Always live, always on. Glen Burnie Transmissions provides factory remanufactured transmissions for hundreds less than the dealers. Suspect you have a transmission issue? Stop by for a complimentary road test and scan. You can easily get an estimate on your transmission repair by going to their website, gbt-online.com, or call them at 410-766-8500. And you can see Pressbox Radio live every day from 10 a.m. to noon on Facebook Live. Go to facebook.com slash Sports. And don't forget to like and share it with your friends. And welcome back to Inside Press Box. Given the injuries and what we saw early from Maryland football, what are the program's realistic short-term expectations? Here to talk about it as well as other Maryland topics is TerpTalk.com's Wayne Viner. Wayne, welcome in. How are you? Hey, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Good. And we will talk about all that stuff, but we have to start right at the top if we're going to talk about Maryland athletics, and that is with the athletic director, Kevin Anderson, who's basically on leave. He's on a six-month sabbatical. The news was kind of convoluted last week. What do you know about the situation? Well, all I have are the rumors that I'm sure everybody else has heard, which is that he looked at another job. He had a falling out with Wallace Lowe and he had his last day of work was in late September and he's been on leave since then and the rest of the rumor mill has Kevin Plank stepping in to make this a smoother transition allowing for the sabbatical and I got a text a tweet from uh, Kevin that he was at UCLA with his family over the weekend last weekend so he seems to be doing well and just a quick follow-up, Damon Evans has kind of taken over, at least in the interim. Is he a um, logical candidate to replace him, or are they going to open it up? Well, Damon Evans is a big-time college football guy. He was an SEC athletic director with Georgia, so he's got the experience. He led the search committee that brought in D.J. Durkin, so actually he is a logical person to take that job. But I think with Maryland's history and how they have committees and there's a lot of people who have input, they're probably going to look somewhere else before they make uh, an official offer to make Evans the permanent AD. Do we think, though, that Kevin Anderson, at the end of his sabbatical, is definitely finished there? Or do you see any scenario? And I know you're saying you just know what you're hearing, but, I mean, is it pretty much considered a fait accompli that he's gone? Uh, Didn't uh, seem uh, like that to me. As a Maryland, long, long long-term Maryland fan, and knowing the history of Maryland, he is, to me, he is gone. Okay. All right. That's your opinion. That's- Maryland football, the Eastern Division of the Big Ten, is probably the toughest division in all of sports, professional or college. And we've seen Maryland, you know, start off fast, but then get destroyed once the conference schedule begins, the Ohio States, the Michigans, et cetera. Is there a glimmer of hope? And if so, what is it? Well, there is a glimmer of hope. And that is that D.J. Durkin has been recruiting well on a national level. Now, many of those young men have played. So last year they played 17 freshmen. This year I believe they played 11 or 12 freshmen. So our 18, 19-year-old freshmen are playing against the Big Ten's fifth-year seniors who've been in those weight training programs and really know how to play ball. So if you're going to put a a group of 18-year-olds against a group of 22-year-olds, you are going to get what you see. This is not basketball. You can't just recruit one player and have it change your future. So I think you're going to have to let D.J., get these recruits and let it run four or five years so maybe 2019 is a better litmus test for a moment maryland was ahead of itself when it went to texas we had two quarterbacks who could play they both played they both played well and then in the maryland tradition they They both hurt (laughs) there you go so true about it let's let's slide over to basketball for a moment that's a, a a program that's been at a higher echelon level for a longer period of time is the jury out? We know that uh, Mark Turgeon can, can recruit his butt off, okay? But is the jury still out on whether he is a top-tier coach of good talent? That is a great question. Uh, many in the fan base question the coaching, the moves, how you end up with a, a fairly talented team where Mello gets the ball. And there's a picture of Mello behind Gary on the wall here. He's that famous. But at the end of the game, it can't be a one-man gang and that's what Maryland devolved to. So yeah, there's a little bit of question of how this offense is going to run. It wasn't really on the defensive side, it's on the offensive side that Maryland has had questions. Uh, You're looking at a situation for this season where there's one point guard, which Anthony Cowan, very well recruited, highly thought of, and uh, Kevin Herter, and then a Baltimore product is the backup, which is uh, Daryl Morse will be the backup at point guard. 
All right. We appreciate your coming in. You've done a fantastic job Thank you. helping my buddy Bruce Posner Thank you. get that thing moving, TurpTalk.com, and Thanks, doing Wayne. his shows with us. Thank you very much, Wayne. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Next up, Gary and I dissect the myriad of issues facing the Baltimore huh. Ravens. Keep it here for a Ravens-only edition of Crosstalk. Hero Appreciation Day is every Wednesday at Live Casino and Hotel. Live reward members with a valid military DOD police officer or firefighter ID receive special offers. Visit MarylandLiveCasino.com for details. At Arundel Mills, must be 21. Please play responsibly. For help, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Inside Press Box is presented by Live Casino and Hotel. Always live, always on.